hunger, deep consideration because of the need of the great need for something that has been damaged for all of proper direction. And as we look today, brothers and sisters, as we look at the 21st century conditions, the living conditions, the situation, we can say that families need to be constantly under consideration. Because there is a great need to recover every concern from the parents, children, from generation to generation. Because in we need help. Uh, can you say that to someone down in the aisle? We need help. And then repeat this say the family. The family. From this teaching, from this teaching within this quarter, there are three parts that we need to teach you. The first is family matters, the importance of family. The second is Family matters, reestablishing or reestablishing the power of family. The third is family matters, bridging generational gaps. So, as a foundation scripture, I thought I searched the word of God and found this very powerful aspect. Proverbs 11, verse 29. We have the Bible that follows it. It says, Those who bring trouble. I'm reading in the New Living Translation. It says, Those who bring trouble on their families inherit the wind. The fool will be a servant to the wise. Say it again. Those who bring trouble on their families inherit the wind. The fool will be a servant. When I began to research this, I went to uh, Benson's commentary. And Benson's commentary relate, relate to family matters. When it says here, he that troubled his own home, he relates to the fact that we have to be cognizant and we must consider our home. And that we don't bring trouble or unnecessary trouble upon ourselves, our home, our children. And what he's speaking of in this commentary note is that those of leadership in families must be careful not to be careless, slow. They must be careful not to be so careless and so and so slowful that they are not providing the proper access whereby families can become what they are called to become. They cannot be excessive as the family tenders. They cannot do wickedness that will consume their and their sin. They cannot be covetous in their desires. They cannot be restless in their endeavors. Because if they do, a man run behind riches <coughs> of dreaming that America has fantasized for us to follow as a family. We will heap things that will harass our family bring our family under distress and cause our families to work extra hard and work so much but not, but not able to excel or be able to do the fundamental things that God wants us to do. So the writer says that if we, if those, if those 
that bring trouble on their family. He said they will inherit the wind. <laughs> inherit the wind. That's a strange saying for, for Solomon to write. It's a strange saying for him to put in text. So the question arises, and I pose to you, what does inheriting the wind? What does that mean? Or how does that get your mind? When it says that when a man or when those who bring trouble on their family, they will inherit them. What, what does inheriting the wind? Just to engage 